Guys, do me a favor and think back to your time in elementary school. I know everyone remembers recess and frozen chicken nuggets, which I still enjoy from time to time. But what I want you to think about are vocabulary quizzes. Tonight, I'm going to introduce you to some of my new favorite sports terms, including trap game. A trap game is definitely what today could have been for NC State. Sandwich between so showdowns with Florida State and Louisville was a midseason matchup with Syracuse. Into the first quarter, Ryan Finley goes up top to Stephen Lewis. And if you didn't quite see what happened, no need to worry. Check out Kelvin Harmon. He lets us know that was a touchdown. A few series later in the Wolfpack dial up some trickoration. The reverse pass goes back to the quarterback who makes an awesome one-handed grab. The only thing better than that catch are the fans' reactions. Look at them. Slap hands. Slap hands. Nice job, guys. NC State gets another win. They take this one 33 to 25. Our Todd Gibson had a front row seat for a game that could have been scary for the Wolfpack. It was the ultimate trap game for NC State coming off that huge win over Florida State in Tallahassee. How would the pack respond today against Syracuse? Well, in the first half, pretty well. The second half, though, it got a bit dicey. Dave Dorn admitted he was worried about this game. He knew his team was still getting those pats on the back and shout outs for knocking off the Seminoles. So this week in practice, he did what coaches do. And I challenged our seniors. I said, you guys are the ones that talked about wanting to be in a better bowl game. And you better have leadership this week because if we don't, it's on you. You know, and those guys did a great job. In the first half, State made it look easy, shutting down the high scoring Orange with relentless pressure. The pack building a 19 point halftime lead. A week of focus and discipline paying off in the first 30 minutes. To play. We're a lot more mature than we have been in the past. Um, a lot of guys probably in the past would have thought, oh, we beat the number 12 team, so we don't have to play as hard this week because we got another good team, a big team coming up. And um, we just all just executed exactly what we needed to do. And even though the pack struggled in the second half, the players were quick to point out they won the game. And that's all that matters. Now it's on to Louisville now, so you get to enjoy it as soon as you leave here. But as soon as you come back in tomorrow, it's on. Yeah, the pack usually has a 24 hour rule win or lose. They'll waive that this week with Louisville coming to town on Thursday. In Raleigh, Todd Gibson, CBS, North Carolina.